Hello! Welcome back to more Stardew Valley. There's no comments to go through today, so if I remember correctly, I know the main goal was to get the barn upgrade. I'm gonna be completely real here, I don't fully remember everything that I wanted to do today. But it was the barn for sure. I think upgrade my axe? Yeah, it should be my axe. And then I know we need to get the heaters. And then we thought about potentially getting a silo. But I still don't necessarily know if the silo is something I need to do or if I'll be fine. Oh! I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern for the upcoming Spirits Eve festival. Okay. I have a diamond, y'all. Okay. All of our farm chores are done. Now, did I end up getting enough? Would I believe so. Yeah. So let's keep that on us. And then, uh, do I go buy the heaters now? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do... Ah! Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run down to the ocean and I'm gonna fish for a bit. So then maybe I get lucky enough to get the 30,000 to... Oh, Sam is on his skateboard to get the barn. And then if I don't, I don't because... I should 100% get enough to do it tomorrow anyways. But we also have this little quest thing for Linus. Oh, what the heck? Um, to get 20 pieces of trash. So I know it's it made more sense last episode to start fishing for that in our tiny little pond in our uh, farm. But hey, this works too. Okay, well, I didn't get enough before Willy closed, but that's okay. Okay, in the meantime, I think this might be stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the tiny little pond on my farm and I'm gonna try and fish out all the trash I need. So then we can hopefully get the Linus quest out of the way. In case you guys haven't noticed, I'm a big quest person. Okay, we officially have enough trash. So tomorrow, we need to do that. Okay, y'all, plan of attack. Farm chores, as usual. Do we have anything that- <gasps> Y'all, no way. No way, we have an apple? Wait. <gasps> Guys, that's my first ever fruit I've ever gotten off a tree in this game. That sounds crazy, but... <laughs> Anyways, that's exciting. Okay, farm chores first. We're gonna sprint um, to Robin's. It's Robin's, right? Yeah. And get the barn upgrade. Then we're going to see if we get lucky and run down to Marnie so we can get the heaters. But I'm not going to hold my breath on her actually being in her shop. So, And then we are going to go and upgrade, hopefully, our axe. <gasps> and we have a duck feather? Guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Okay, well, we need that for the community center, so I guess we're adding a community center trip today, too. Sprinting to Robin's. I swear, Saturday should be a day she's open. I don't think she's ever not been open on a Saturday. Now, will Marnie be open? That's debatable. I really just want to know why it's so hard for Marnie to be in her shop. Like, what was... Is there, like, some meaning behind that or something? Hi! Deluxe barn. <laughs> okay, I'll start working on your bond upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Yay! Exciting. Okay, well, we're gonna run down to the community center so I can drop off the things I need. Oh, dang it. I was gonna grab the gold bars I need to upgrade my axe. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, we'll wait for that. We'll drop this stuff off and then we're gonna take our chances on uh, Marnie. Okay, I think the red cabbage seeds we get spring of year two. I'm pretty sure they unlock there. And then what one? Oh, it has three apples. Ew. Well, I think I can put an apple in this one over here. I think. Nope. Artist. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh my god. I could have put a goat cheese in there. Dang it. I forgot. Okay, well, we'll remember that goat cheese okay and then also i forgot where do we have to take 
dump the trash in the recycling bin behind the train platform. So we gotta go all the way back up here. Okay, recyc- ah ha ha! Boom. Did it. Sweet. Okay, boom. One of those done. I think that means we should get a prize ticket then. If I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Okay, let's immediately grab this and go into Lewis's house and see what we get. Hi, Lewis. Oh, he's not here. Oh, mystery box. Okay. I'm gonna admit, some of these prizes are a little weird. We're gonna run to Marnie's. Uh, there's absolutely no way she's gonna be there. <laughs> I already know. <gasps> no way. Supplies. He 2,000. Yeesh. Okay, I think if I remember correctly, you guys told me I only needed one in each. So we're gonna hope that's true. <laughs> I also don't know if it matters where I put it. Like, can I just... Stick it in here? Like, can I just stick it right there? Does that work? Is that good? Do I need to turn it on? No? Maybe it does it automatically. I don't know. Hopefully this works. Hi guys, do you want a heater as well? There you go. Beautiful. Okay, well, pff, we already knocked out three of the things I wanted to do. Okay, I don't remember if it costs 5000 or 10000 to upgrade stuff. So, we're going to hope it's 5000 and I'm going to run to Clint and see if I can upgrade my axe. Oh, oh it is 10000 I can upgrade that? What? Man, I'm already to the Iridium pickaxe. So, I think it's almost confirmed that you have to get iridium ore from the skull caverns whoa okay hold on what are all of these uh okay i feel like this is the key for the sewers but how is you know what i don't know <laughs> i feel like i'm at that stage where i don't really know what to do <laughs> like my barn is getting upgraded Oh, I could most definitely, I think, finish the construction bundle. Hold on, let me go see how much wood and hardwood I have. Oh. Blech. Bet. Okay, hold on. We're going to run to the community center, and I'm going to drop off this, because then that's another part of the bundle done. But then I think, if I remember correctly, that was the same one with all the foraging ones. And so in a few days, I don't know, I feel like in like two episodes or so, we're going to be in winter. And that means that entire one is going to be done. And I think that one was the bridge repair. If I'm not mistaken, I think the bridge repair is over to like the quarry. Boom. What do I get? Oh. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Why have I never thought of that? Okay, yeah. So I literally just need a snow yam and crocus. And this one's done. Let's do a quick check to see where we're sitting. I know this one we're really close to because we can get a goat cheese. It's just in a little bit when the goat gives me milk. Um, oh, I don't remember which of these. I think I have an apricot tree and either a cherry tree or a pomegranate tree, I think. Animal bundle, just a matter of time till we get that. So that one's also very, very, very close to being done. And then this one, this one's always a little bit tricky. Chef's bundle, we won't get a truffle until we get a pig. However, we are getting that barn upgraded now, so we can get sheep and pig. Sheep, sheep, whatever, you guys know what I mean. I don't know how to make that, so we'll tackle that. Um, I just need to wait for my apples to grow. I don't know how long it takes for them to grow. Maybe it was a bad idea for me to pick that apple today, but I... Meh. Red cabbage, like I said earlier, pretty sure we unlocked the seeds for um, when spring comes around again. Field research. Uh, this one I'm actually not sure about. Because I know you can find a type of shell like this on the beach, but it's not the correct shell. Okay, wine. Ooh, wine I feel like... I could be wrong, but I feel like I might have started doing that, and that's what's in the keg right now. 
Rabbit's foot, I just need to unlock a rabbit. I think they just drop this. Kind of like the duck feather, I think. Which sounds kind of wild, but... And then pomegranate, I guess maybe... Uh, is there a way for me to tell what trees I have? Because if I could, I might as well just start getting the pomegranates and stuff planted now if I don't have that one. Let's go check it out, see what we can find. Okay, so obviously this one's an apple one. What are you? I don't know. I think this one's the apricot one. What are you? Man, I don't want to have to go back and rewatch all my videos. <laughs> okay, we're going to stick that right there. I don't know why, but it just, it feels right. Um, I feel like what I need to do is I need to start working on getting my coop upgraded now. Oh my gosh. And I could also start working on getting the stable so I could get a horse. Also, another thing that I might be wrong about, but I think come spring, your farm, like, all this random stuff that's grown resets as well, I think. So if I'm not mistaken, trees and grass and such and all that, well, grass for sure. None of that grows during winter. <gasps> I do know how to make a maki roll. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's another thing I want to do then is work on getting my house upgraded. Because now we're going to get to the point where we have, oh my God, we have another apple. <laughs> Now we are getting to the point where we're going to have our barn and our coop fully upgraded so we can start doing the fun stuff. Ooh, thanks for helping me clean up around the valley. The waters are looking much cleaner. I think everyone will appreciate it. I know I will. As a way of saying thanks, I wanted to teach you how to grow your own fiber. I hope it's useful. Fiber seeds. Oh. Plant these in any season does not require watering. Harvest with the scythe. Huh. I feel like I should make a couple of those just to see what it's about. Clay, sap, and mixed seeds. Let's just make eight of them. I guess maybe I should have checked how much room I got before I made eight of them, but... Well, we'll see what happens with those. I would love to finally unlock that dang seed maker. What level am I? Farming level... Ugh. We'll hopefully be getting there semi-soon. We're not really going to get anywhere during winter. So, in a couple days, we should have an upgraded farm. It's going to be great. I... Actually, no, we're just gonna put this apple over here like a usual So I don't actually end up selling that that'd be very sad <laughs> Okay, I have the goat milk in there. So we should have the the cheese before the end of the day. Oh my god a squirrel Let's quickly Before I forget it messes up again. We're gonna go upgrade our axe with Clint So that also means we're gonna be taking a break from chopping down any trees for a couple days there we go. Sick. Okay, we're back to being broke, but we got cool things. I really wish I could figure out how to get another crystallarium. Because I would love to have one of them be diamonds. Because diamonds, I think, give you a lot of money. And then jade, so I can do the whole tradey thing for the stairs. Because I know you can craft them. Oh my god, it's 100 stone. No wonder you guys trade stuff for them. That's insane. Okay. What I am going to do... I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of at a loss. I think... Okay. I'm almost certain there's, like, nothing to do in winter. So most people, like, fish. Or they, like, spend their time in the mines. Stuff like that. Because there's, like, you can't plant any crops, really. Maybe you can. Now that they... Oh, I think there's, what, like, powder melons? I know that in one of the big updates that happened semi-recently... They changed... Okay, I'll show you. Because we have, like, some of the squash seeds. You get seeds like this. And I think you still get them in winter, too. Oh my god, we have the goat cheese. Okay, well, we're running that to the community center for sure. I can't decide if I want to spend... You know what? No. It's going to be stupid if I... We're going to go fish. Like always. I feel like... Ugh, we fish so dang much. Okay, we're going to run up to the community center, drop off the goat cheese, and then I'm going to go fish because I feel like it's gonna be better to have a whole bunch of money because like upgrading the house is gonna take a bunch of money. Up making the stable is gonna take money. If I make another silo, that's gonna have some money. I think that one only costs like 100 gold though. Um, but everything we do basically costs money. So I don't know. I don't know why I'm justifying it, but I'm gonna go fish. <laughs> oh, hold on. This is a cutscene I have never seen before. Ah, that feels good. Is that is <laughs> The water's never been cleaner. And the same goes for me. 
Is this because I got all the trash out of the water? Is that all that was for? Okay. <laughs> I thought that was like some friendship thing. That's a weird way to show friendship, but hey. Oh my gosh. There's a panning thing. My do Ooh, I got gold. Oh, that's easy. Why have I never done that before? Got three Omni Geodes from that. What the heck? Cool. Man, I have been missing out on this panning thing. Okay, we did some fishing. I feel like money-wise we are we're at the stage where we do pretty decent getting money each day. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay. <gasps> so it must be you get one every day. Okay, that's so exciting. Well, we need one more apple. And then we have enough for the Marnie bundle thingy. Oh, is my barn done? <gasps> it only takes one day for her to do it? Guys, I thought it was going to take at least like a couple days for her to finish it. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to run up and hope she's there. And I want to see what all it takes to upgrade the coop. Okay, all of our farm stuff is done. Let's run up here, go break in and see what we need to give her. I'm going to make a guess. It's probably like 500 wood, 300 stone, and like $20,000, something like that. Okay. Deluxe Oh, 20. Y'all, I think I'm magic. I guessed 500 wood, 20,000. I think I guessed like 300 stone, but that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm not too worried about getting that. Okay, I I don't know anything. Oh, clearly with the iridium bar, we're not going to be able to do this anytime soon. I don't understand the slime stuff. Like, what? It creates slime balls. What do you use those for? So stable. I want a horse so bad. All right. I always forget that you can make multiple coops and stuff. Like every time I've played this game, I get far enough to do like all oh, the basics. Like I get my coop and barn upgraded and whatever. And then I'm, I run out of things to do. So I don't even think about getting a second coop. 10,000 gold and you'll also need to find me 450 pieces of wood. That isn't that bad. We're honestly fairly close to being able to do that. A lot of this is just like having enough money because it really doesn't take that long to get like wood and stone and whatnot. Well, plan, I feel like for the next mm, foreseeable future is gonna be deciding if we wanna make money that day or if we wanna get supplies that day. Okay, so we needed 500 wood and 200 stone. It's not terrible. Like, we're not going to be able to get wood today because I'm still upgrading my pickaxe. But we could easily get enough stone today. I think, honestly, what I'm going to do is just run around here and break a bunch of stones. Because, honestly, we most likely will have enough and then still, oh, still have extra energy left over. So I'm going to break as much as I can. And then with whatever energy I have left over, I'm probably just going to fish. Okay. We have enough stone now to upgrade the coop whenever we want. Why are you sitting in my corn? Okay, so like I said, with the extra bit of time we have left, time and energy, I should say, I'm going to go fish so we get a little bit extra money. Okay, I feel like we've done enough fishing for today, so we're going to go back as usual, sell the stuff, get all of it organized, and go to bed. Oh, we unlocked a mega bomb. Okay. Oh, my gold axe is ready. We are getting pretty dang close to being able to do the coop because we only need 20,000. Honestly, if we get a decent amount of crops going, we probably will hit that easy peasy within the next couple days. Yeah, I don't, th we didn't necessarily do a whole lot today, but I feel like we set ourselves up to get some of the stuff I want to get done, done. It's just going to be grinding to get a lot of money and whatnot. We did get our barn upgraded, so now, I totally didn't even think of this, but we can go and buy a sheep and we can go buy a pig and get that going. So next episode, we should do that for sure. Um, we can go pick up our gold pickaxe and then both of our, or our axe, both our pickaxe and our axe are upgraded as much as we can until we get iridium. Pretty sure that happens from the skull caverns. I know I mentioned this in another episode, but I'm thinking 
during winter that should be our plan to do the skull cavern so if you guys can give me another idea of where to get a crystallarium so i can get those jades going i'd appreciate it i already got the one from the bundle whatever bundle it is where you have to like pay for it i already got that one so if there's another way to get one please let me know i'd appreciate it um otherwise let's see what did we do yeah i feel like it was a lot of prep today but i think we're getting there um if there's anything else i should be working on or planning to do let me know as usual i don't know a whole lot about this game so i'd appreciate the help but yeah we're gonna leave it there hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will see you all next week for more stardew valley bye